I wanted to just do this quick little video to show a modification which I've made to my Irish A-Class model. A couple of people have already asked me how I did it and I thought if I did a video it would just be easier to explain it to everybody. Um, so what it's basically about is to put the cab lights onto a directional function and to put the shunting lights onto a, a function where they're all lit together. Um, it also makes it match up with the original printed function list which you get with the model. I know that they've since issued a sort of a, a statement to say that this is printed incorrectly, um, but you can make the model match it really easily. And I actually think it's a, a better functionality personally. So the first thing you'll need to do, imagine this is still on your model, you would lift the top off which is magnetic and then you've got four screws so you just take those four screws out with a small screwdriver something like this um, and then it just lifts off as one piece and then you can see the circuit board and everything so what you're looking for is at one end you've got an auxiliary 5 and you've got an auxiliary 6 and at the other end you've got an auxiliary 5 and an auxiliary 7 but you'll notice that they've all got yellow wires going to them um, so what they are are the negatives from your cab lights and from your shunting lights so you literally just need to swap them around so you get your, your yellow wire from your cab which currently goes to auxiliary 5 and at one end that will go to auxiliary 6 and at the other end it will go to auxiliary 7 um, and then with the shunting lights which you've desoldered you'll solder both of them to auxiliary 5 it's easy to do, I've already done it on this one I definitely prefer to have the directional cab lights because I do think that it looks better and I think having the shunting mode so that they're both on together also works really well because I think that's how it should be anyway so that it can just travel about in either direction without having to mess about changing lights. Uh, so that was my understanding of a shunting mode anyway. One other thing I'll just show you whilst I've got the body off this model is how I got to the sugar cube speaker to remove it. Now you might not want to um, but personally I took it out and I think it sounds better for it and a couple of people have agreed and I know that they've taken it out too. Um, so it's quite easy to do. You've got screws at either side of here, at either side of the decoder, and you've also got screws either side of the brackets that hold the EM1 style speaker. So you take all six of those screws out and the circuit board lifts off and then underneath the circuit board there's a little black box which is your sugar cube speaker which is just held on with two screws. So you can simply just take it off and then basically put it all back together. Uh, your other speaker's still connected through the plug here, um, so that all still works as it should.